Greetings! In today's video, I'll be taking a look at more handmade watercolor paints. A fellow artist and YouTuber, Dan, from the channel Penholder Art, had been documenting his paint making process on his channel. He reached out to me and we decided to swap handmade paints so that we could each try the other's paints and give feedback from a paint crafter's point of view. Dan is based in the UK, so it took a bit of time for the parcel to get here. He sent me a note, a lovely cat painting, and eight of his paints in half pans. I was super happy to see the painting. If you haven't figured out how much of a cat person I am by now, well, I can confirm it. I am a bona fide cat lady. The colors he sent me are burnt sienna, yellow ochre, Indian yellow, scarlet, Payne's Grey, Manganese Blue, Ultramarine Blue, and Indigo. His paints are made from pigment, honey, gum arabic, and water. In this regard, his recipe is fairly similar to my own. I decided to put the paints in this specific little tin, since it can hold 8 pans nicely. The paints came in nicely packaged and labeled. I'm particularly excited about the manganese blue, as Dan uses the genuine thing rather than a hue, which makes this paint pretty unique. The only other source of genuine manganese watercolor paint is from Old Holland, as far as I know. His paint's grey is interesting as well, as it's made from burnt sienna and ultramarine blue. It's the mix I end up making all the time, so I'm excited to have it all conveniently premixed. As I unwrap the paints, you can see that some are pretty matte looking and solid, while some are a bit softer, like the scarlet and Indian yellow. This is caused by the pigments themselves as they don't all react the same way to water and honey. I set up the palette and gave it a few days to air dry, so that the scarlet regains a bit of its consistency. Then, I made the swatches. All the pans rewet easily and the colors came out strong and smooth. I think the color that ended up being the most surprising for me is that ultramarine blue. I'm usually not a great fan of this color, as I find the commercial versions difficult to rewet and the shade a bit flat and lifeless. However, Dan has crafted quite a striking color, definitely the deepest and most pigment-loaded ultramarine blue I've ever seen. It just jumps off the page. The manganese blue is also gorgeous, and I love how dark the paint's gray is. Beautiful, strong colors overall. I was excited to mix them together.
As you can see from my mixing swatches, these eight colors offer a wide range of possibility. I love how strong they are. As they say, with strong colors, a little goes a long way. The swatched colors are quite smooth, but when you paint them with water, manganese blue, ultramarine blue and paints grey have particularly nice granulation. Inspired by the strength of the colors, I wanted to paint a moody landscape. I made a quick sketch from imagination using colored lead and an oil black pencil. The sketchbook is a Stillman & Burn Delta, so off-white paper that can take watercolors. To frame the sketch, I used blue painter's tape. I started by spritzing some water on the sky using a small spray bottle. Then I went in right away with the paint's grey. I held my sketchbook at an angle to help the colors move and granulate, and continued painting in the sky using mostly the grey and some indigo as well. I also added in a few touches of manganese blue to maximize the potential for granulation. To make a dark moody green, I mixed Indian yellow and indigo. I used this color to paint the grasses. Mm -hmm. 
I let this first pass of colors dry, then I added some more dark grey and blue to add more depth. I went in to paint the house and at some point forgot to press record. It was a busy day and it slipped my mind for the part where I paint the roof and added more details. You can see the result here though, sorry about the missing footage. As you can see from the close-up, the colors are very pretty and didn't lose any of their strength through mixing or drying. The granulation is lovely and adds a nice texture to the elements of the sketch. I strongly suggest checking out Dan's paints in his Etsy store, I'll link it in the description box. Also, check out his channel Penholder Art for reviews, painting demos and more watercolor videos. Thank you for watching, have a great day, bye bye!